Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we're gonna be creating this simple rigged robot arm and this won't be any complex rig with inverse kinematics and things like that. We'll just use simple parenting and then some constraints to make it look like the hydraulics work here and I really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do please don't forget to leave that like it will really help me and if you're new to the channel and you'd enjoy tutorials like this in the future please hit that subscribe and additionally bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new and if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to become a 3D illustrator go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way for example with the new ultimate 3D bundle you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks so if you're interested please go check out the link in the description let's jump right into empty blender file and first i want to block out um, the robot arm so let's just select everything press X and delete and now let's press shift a and we'll add a circle here Now we can tap into the edit mode press F to fill and E to extrude So we have some base now I will hold shift s and snap cursor to select it now tap out and we'll create a new object Let's press shift a and let's add a plane now tap into the edit mode and press s and scale it down like this Now let's go for edge select by pressing 2 select these two edges by holding shift and press E then Z to extrude just like that. Now we can switch back to the vertex select by pressing 1 and hit Ctrl Shift then B to enable vertex bevel just like this. Now press A, Alt E and choose extrude faces along normals and just extrude it like this and additionally press S to enable even scaling something like that and now hold shift S and snap cursor to select it. So we'll be moving the cursor as we go along the hand structure so now tab out and we'll create a new object. So let's press shift A and let's add a cube. Now we can press tab to go into the edit mode, press S and scale it down just like this and then S then Y to scale on the Y axis. And now go for face select by pressing three, select this face and press G then Z and move it up like this. And let's zoom out a little bit and we can press G then Z again and move it up all the way. And now we can basically just press control R to create these loops. and go for face select by pressing 3, select these faces by holding shift and alt E and extrude faces along normals again. So we have something like this in place. Now select these two faces on the sides and hold shift S and snap cursor to select it so we have it in the middle there. Tab out and let's press shift A and let's add another plane. Now tab into the edit mode and this is very important so you don't move it in the object mode. Let's press G then Z and move it up so the origin point stayed here in the middle. Um, you can see the orange dot there. So let's press S to scale it down. And same as before, we'll press 2 for edge select. Select these two edges and press E then Z and extrude them like this. And additionally, we can press 1 and Ctrl Shift B to do that bevel. Now press A to select all and Alt E and extrude along normals. Let's go inside and press S for even scaling like this. Now we can go for face select by pressing 3, select this top face and press E. So we have like a second part of the hand and now we can create two loop cuts right here using Ctrl R and increase the number of cuts with the mouse wheel. Now press 3 for face select, press E and extrude. Now let's select these two faces on the sides again and we'll hold Shift S and snap cursor to select it. Now tab out and let's press Shift A and another plane and you probably know what's gonna happen here so let's press G then Z and again be careful not to do this in the object mode. Now 2 for edge select, select these two edges E then Z and extrude this down and we can press 1 and Ctrl Shift B to create a bevel like this. Now press A to select all and Alt E and extrude along normals like this and enable even scaling with S and now 3 for face select and do a small extrusion here. Now Shift S and snap the cursor and tab out and now we'll press shift a and create a circle here tab into the edit mode press s and scale it down press f to fill and e to extrude now shift s and snap again tab out let's press shift a add a plane tab in let's make it smaller press e to extrude and now press s then y to scale it up and e again for another extrusion and one last snap holding shift s and tab out, let's press shift A and another plane, tab into the edit mode, press S to scale it down and E to extrude. 
Now press 2 for edge select, select this edge right here and press G twice to enable edge slide and slide it like this. Now we can tab out, press G then Y and move it to the side and in the modifiers panel let's add mirror modifier and let's pick this object as a center and switch from X to Y. So now if you move this on the Y axis it just moves. So basically that's everything we'll need and we can update some details here like um, this is too sharp probably so let's press ctrl b to bevel this and here as well so it actually can move there and i'm not being too precise you know with the technicalities and stuff um that's for you to figure out and decide when you're actually doing something serious uh, i just wanted to show you the system how i would approach a model like this so we can now tab out and let's parent things so select this object here hold shift and parent it to the underlying base and we'll do like this with all of these object pairs so they are parented in chain Control p and parent object so now we are able to just select this press r x and 90 to rotate these 90 degrees and this one here as well so let's press r then x and 90 degrees so we have something like this in place we can make this a little bit smaller and this probably as well just like that and now let's create some hydraulics i'll go right here into the edit mode and just snap the cursor right here and that's just because it's easier to place it like this tab out and let's press shift a and we'll add a plane tab in press s to scale it down and r x 90 degrees to rotate tab out and press g then z move it up a tiny bit now tab in and now let's press A to select all, S then X to scale it on X axis and press G then X to move it aside like this and E to extrude. And of course we can select these edges and bevel them a little bit. Now let's go to the modifiers tab and add a mirror modifier and this will basically just hold the hydraulics piston and I would really like to make this arm longer. So let's select this one here, press G then Z, move it up. And now let's select this, tab into the edit mode and I'll enable X-ray view, select all of these edges, look from the side by pressing 3 on an ampad, press G then Z and move it up. Just like that. Okay, I think this will really work. Now let's select this one here, hold Shift S and snap cursor to select it. Now let's press Shift A and let's add a cylinder. Tab into the edit mode and let's make it smaller like this. 3 for face select, select this top face, press G then Z and move it up. You know, up until half of the arm i would say maybe a little bit higher now tab out and press g then y and move it outside we can help ourselves by looking from the side so it kind of looks like this maybe even more okay i really like this and now let's select this object here and press shift d and move it up right there press r then 90 degrees and minus so we go to the other direction let's move it somewhere here now hold shift s and cursor to select it again let's press shift a and we'll add another circle tab into the edit mode let's make this smaller and we can help ourselves by enabling x-ray again so something like this and tab out press g then z and move it right here now we can tab in select the bottom and press g then z and move it here so it goes inside um, the piston so now we can tab out, select this part right here and parent it to this part of arm and this right here will be parented there and then again the parts of the piston will be parented to their respective objects just like this. So we have something like this in place right now and now let's select this object right here and go to constraints menu and let's add track to constraints this is the whole trick about this simple rig and now let's click the eyedropper tool and just pick the top part of the piston and now you will see it might flip like this don't worry about that just change minus z to z and now select this one here and we'll do the same choose track 2 click the eyedropper tool and pick this one so now if you rotate this you will see how it kind of always points towards each other and this will basically make it work as a hydraulic system and of course this is the same way how we'll finish the rest of the model and you can see this 
basically works um, even if you you know move their parents so let's press shift d on this one here press z twice and move it here and we'll basically just select this one press shift d and duplicate it and move it here and you can see how this is still tracking this object it's pointing towards its origin point um, don't worry about that and we can just parent it here and tell it to keep transformation and now we can select this one press shift d and z twice to move it to a side like that and press alt r to reset its rotation and let's do that here as well and here as well and again r and 90 degrees minus so that we can just better position this one press r and 180 degrees let's make this smaller and probably we could just move all of this a little bit lower so let's do that so we can fit this easily right here okay i really like this and this will be much smaller now let's select this one here let's look from the side again and we can press alt d and duplicate it right there and make it smaller now we'll do the same let's remove the cylinder here and pick the new one and we'll do the same here just like that and make it smaller so right now this should work just like before when we actually parent this and this as well okay yeah it's working okay so um that's the simple robot arm rig now um just to make it a little bit nicer you can always just select one of these objects go to the modifiers panel add bevel modifier and then you know add some segments play with the amount and in the shading pick hard and normals switch sharp to arc and now just select everything else with this little arrow we can just copy the bevel modifier to selected objects right click and shade auto smooth and increase to 180 degrees and we have some nice beveled smooth object with some working hydraulics and now let's reset the cursor and we can just enable auto keyframing and find some initial position and i'm just using r and then hit the axis that i want to rotate twice and that will create initial keyframes just like that and here i will rotate this around z axis and here i will just move it around y axis so now if we actually move this for example towards the frame 90 and let's say i will rotate it like this move this a tiny bit like that here we can do this for example rotate this and finally move this one and now we have this kind of animation ready and one last thing to handle is to take care of this kind of glitching um, and this is probably caused by the fact that these two are pointing at each other so it just you know gets to these like computational errors or something like that so we'll need to create a new object that will serve as a pointer for one of them so let's select the top part of the piston here hold shift s and snap cursor to select it and now we'll press shift a and add an empty plane axis and basically just parent it to this so ctrl p and parent to object and now if you select this piston go to the constraints and clear the cylinder and just pick the empty it should just work and it should stop the glitching so we'll do the same here i will select this snap the cursor and add an empty and parent it to this one here and again we'll just pick this one and switch the track to target to that empty so now if we play back the animation um, there should be no glitching whatsoever. So that's it for the easy robot arm modeling and rigging. I'll just go ahead now and, you know, add some lights, add some background, some materials and do a nice little render. If you want to see how it's done, I strongly recommend you to check out my tutorial playlist that's in the description and just pick any scene similar to this in style and basically apply the lighting and material technique you will find there and you should be able to render this out into a finished animation scene 
So that's it for the simple robot arm rake. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please don't forget to leave that like. And again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.